Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about an awesome, I'm just going to call it a discovery. It's not really a discovery. I guess technically we discovered where RF finally was and it is located in Transfigured Gems Part 5. So Transfigured Gems Part 5 introduces us righteous fire of arcane devotion. If you guys know anything about me, I actually love mana stacking. Uh, before I really leaned heavy into Righteous Fire, I actually started playing mana stackers. I never got to the crazy complexity you see people doing now with attribute stacking and mana stacking, more so just kind of like midline budget variants. So I'm actually really excited to see this gem. It's a bit weird to me that like, you know, you have the crazy endgame mana RF guardian, and then you have the like super endgame uh, ivory tower scion, even though both of them use ivory tower. Uh, and then the like, you know, the cheaper version of RF got left in the dust, but that, that's okay, right? It, we got something new to play with. I'm happy. So one of the interesting things about this Righteous Fire of Arcane Devotion, there's like 42 things that pop into my head. Number one, you can scale this with one of the strongest mana items in the game that you normally would never be able to, which is Indigon. Uh, Indigon gives you up to like, is it 2000% spell damage? I mean, that's a bit unrealistic right away, but let's just take a quick look at Indigon. So Indigon gives you spell damage for each total mana that you've spent recently. You can spend mana in a lot of different ways. I mean, number one, just by using Arcane Cloak, you can spend a big chunk of mana. The trick will be balancing it so you're constantly spending mana but not spending too much. And then you have to balance uh, essentially, you know, what is going to be on your life pool because you definitely want to be a low life build with this. Um, this is absolutely screaming Hierophant to me. Um, Hierophant seems extremely strong because you get... Divine Guidance for Transfiguration of Mind, which makes it so increases in reductions to mana affect your damage, I think a small amount. So that's another nice thing. Sanctuary of Thought is kind of what gives you massive AoE if you can manage to have some unreserved mana. That synergizes as well with Indigon. Gain 20% of mana as extra energy shield is screaming low life. I believe uh, one mana left pretty much has a variant exactly like this, just very high tier, right? Uh, so this is pretty, I'm pretty excited. Um, Conviction of Power, I don't know if this is what I would lean into, but very nice 16% physical mitigation on Endurance Charges. One thing I'm really liking about this is you get to scale not only Indigon, but you can have Arcane Blessing, which is 20% more spell damage when you have Arcane Surge, which is literally automated by pressing the Frost Blink button, because Frost Blink is a spell which would trigger Arcane Surge. Furthermore, um, you get to use Pain Attunement, so now just from that Arcane Surge buff on the Hierophant and Pain Attunement, you get 50% more spell damage. That is pretty, that's some good numbers right there, right? I'm very excited about that for sure. Uh, more importantly, this definitely pulls more into the theme of like, only solely Righteous Fire, right? A lot of the higher end budgets of Ivory Tower builds, they don't use anything other than Scorching Ray with Infused Channeling because they're scaling their Righteous Fire. I like that this is another way to scale it without having extreme life because it does scale off of, yes, it gives you a big base of your mana, but it allows you to scale with spell damage, which is something we have never seen before on Righteous Fire. I highly doubt they're going to allow us to use Righteous Fire of Arcane Devotion with Righteous Fire. I don't think that's going to happen. That would be pretty cool, but there's no way. I do think that we could still vol it and get regular vol righteous fire so you'd have vol righteous fire with righteous fire of arcane devotion and vol rf would still do okay because you have a big bulk of energy shield but i do believe the uh spell damage multiplier would directly affect your righteous fire so you'd get like a double clear which is it's just pretty cool i'm very excited for this i also think and i could totally be wrong here i'm just you know pulling information out of my head i think that this has a lower entry level fee than an ivory tower build because I feel like it's going to be way easier to scale your righteous fire at lower values versus the ivory tower build. You can't stack spell damage, so you're just trying to pump your stats as high as you can go to get a very big pool. This one, I can see you getting, I don't know, like maybe like 10k mana, 8k mana. I don't know how hard that is to get off the top of my head. And then I don't know, like 10, 12 KES, 13 KES, 15 KES, and then you'll just have a decent base, but because you get Pain Attunement, Arcane Surge, you can use Control Destruction, you can scale spell damage, you can actually just amplify your damage so much higher. I think, I'm not really sure. This has me very, very excited though. Anyway, 
that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to, you know, show you guys my initial reaction. I'm very excited for Righteous Fire of Arcane Devotion. I won't be League starting it, but I will definitely play it. I don't know if it'll be my second character. Not sure. Very excited. So, catch you guys all later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.